Hello everybody and welcome to a very, very exciting day, an exciting video for the All Things Auto channel. As you may know, I own a vintage bicycle. I've got a 1958 Tri Roadster cycle. Matthew, slowly over time, fell in love, fell in love with it. And for ages he's been saying he wants his own. And finally, he has got one. And tonight's at 8 p.m. I think. We've rushed right, out, yeah, we've rushed out because we just cannot help ourselves. I'm, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so sunny oh, and yeah, nice. Right. Love it. It's hot as well, very hot. We've come for a ride, and it's it's the perfect setting, the perfect bikes. It just couldn't be any better. Um, so, are you ready? Should we flip the camera around and announce your new? I think we should. Your your new wheels, and uh, yeah, this is going to be the start of some exciting videos on the channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Are you ready? We're going to do yeah. a bike reveal of Matthews doesn't matter we do a bike reveal so just to drag it along I'm going to show you my bike this is where we are along a bridge um, on a beautiful canal we've spent about what 20 minutes got to cover the camera while I turn it to you 20 minutes yeah. searching for the spot and it's been worth it I'll spin around the other way around so I don't accidentally reveal it this is my Triumph Roadster I've had it for just over a year you can't see all of it because it's in the grass and a lot of work has been done to it including new saddles a Brooks one uh, LED lights instead of dynamo uh, which is something Matthew's bike has White wall tyres, panniers, and it's just immaculate. Um, it's been ridden almost every day, so it's in this superb was, condition. What's it? 1960. 1959. No, not, not, no, sorry. My bike's 1960. Yours yes. is 1959. Or 58? I thought it was 58. So 58, yeah, 58. Did so, I say 1959? Yeah. I meant 1958, but oh well. This is its two year old brother. Two year older brother, yeah. And your bike's as old as Jeremy Clarkson. It is as old as. I'm so happy. Right, what we're going to do now is some. Um, non-spoken teasers of Matthew's bike, just doing some little transitions, showing some of the minor details, and then we'll show you the full bike. This is very exciting, and it's a video to remember. It really is, it's, it's, it's the start of some... <laughs> You've been going on about this for ages. I've been so excited. You can just see a wheel there in the corner. I've been so excited. You see my purple socks? Your purple socks. Fashionable. Do you know what? I've been excited for your new bike, even though it isn't mine. I've been so excited for you to get it. I'm wearing the least appropriate t-shirt for... I didn't have any old ones. They're all in the wash. No fear. I've got a super dry one. Yeah, Japan. Which is, which is a you bit... don't wear anything else and you don't wear any other shorts. <laughs> that's probably... That's true, actually. Yeah. I just, I've got quite a few t-shirts, but I just stick to the same thing. Anyway, we're rambling. We're rambling. This video Waffling. is about vintage bikes. So we're going to do some transitions and then we'll show you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies subscribers and gentlemen. of All Things Auto, Matthew Loverhouse, take the microphone and would you like to do the announcement of your new bike? Hello, hello. Hello. Drum roll. This, this is it. This is a rally. Here it is. Here it is. This is a rally. What is it? Do you know what it is? It's a rally roadster. Yeah. From it's 1960. A rally racer. The all, it says the all steel bike, which makes it strong and heavy. Yes. Very heavy. So here they are together, first time in, well, ever. Uh, this is, Matthew's had it for about two hours, that's right, isn't it? Uh, yes, I picked it up uh, one after I went to see you yes. to talk about this. Oh, they look amazing. Too. Both got white walls. Right, just explain your gears a minute. Ah, do, do, do you have to? Yes. Uh -huh. See, this is a four speed, that's a three speed. But. First, Only three gears work. first has gone away to hide. It's hidden. So you can see here, Sturmy Archer, it's actually upside down, but that's how they I work. I don't think it'll work. Four speed, you got four. That's got... third. That's second. You're constantly in second. Second, third, third fourth. fourth. Ah, I see. You, it's, you can't put it's it. It's very, very vintage. Okay. It's very vintage. It's very difficult. This is mine. Actually, um, it, did, it did have a different type of switch gear, but it was a modern one and it's a bit false. So look at this, this is from the 1960s, even this is a 50s bike. It's only a three speed. There we go. I prefer my gears, but right now I prefer your gears, but well, when we when find first work. tomorrow, because yep. it will be hiding for 15 years, yep. this bike has been ridden for 15 years. See, this was sort of a daily for the last owner. I'm the third owner, and it was an old man that bought it new, and then he had it for ages, and he had a crash on the road, and it sort of put him off cycling. Uh, and it was sold to a guy who had it for about seven years. And he rode it pretty much every day. He had an old BSA bike as well. 
Um, and then he put it on Gumtree. Uh, was it Gumtree? I think it was Gumtree. Yeah, no, it really? was Gumtree because I was constantly searching for yeah. a vintage bike on Gumtree. It was really, really like, cheap. Ooh. Really, really cheap. Oh, I'm sorry. The reason why I make that noise is because I slipped. Yeah. And then again, I can't really call that really cheap because you didn't spend anything on that. It's free. Yeah. It, Amazing. it won't be. It won't be. It cause... will be before I pay off my debt. Yeah. Because I got a new phone because my other one was... Motorola. So yeah, it's got it's got dynamo this light, uh, this bike. This had dynamo, but they had no lights on it and the wire was all chopped and everything, so it's useless. This needs to connect them and check something out. So you can see the dynamo light here, very vintage, and you've got the other one not at the back, but you've got it in the corner. I do like that. And it has got all of the wiring still. That's the centre bit. It has got the wiring, but if you go to the back end near the hub, it's literally just eating away. And it's then like it's some just, rats. You won't you won't you won't see on camera uh, too. And yeah. screws and yeah. then yeah. So that's the hub. It's what very old. that makes your bike just better than mine, well, in the handling department, is this. I know it's not anything to do with the handling. Handlebar grips. No? Oh, yes, yes. The bell. You need to get a bring, bring bell, not a ding, ding. Stuff I want to get, all right. Bring, bring bell, because it's just... It's just right. Yeah. Get it in first. Uh, sort out the dynamo, because it just needs like a little thing there. And I sort of want panniers like Daniel has, but I sort of don't. You're going to need a back thing, though. You know the um, yeah. you know the big shelf that comes off there. That's going to be quite difficult to get, but it is. It can be done. And do you know what? I've grown to like this. Yeah. Even though it doesn't look right. It looks. It looks all right. It goes with the tyres, I suppose. It's the only thing in colour which is in this bike because it's completely. It's rusty. I am. I am sort of on the verge of. Spray paint to get yeah. and not. We had to cut there because there's people walking down there. But carry on. You were talking about paint. Yeah. I don't think you should paint it. To be honest. I sort of want to, but I'm on the verge of like. I know, but yeah, I think you just will ruin the originality. I think if I was to see that, I'd think, oh god, that's interesting. We had some people walking by and they're going, blimey, they're old or something. You said. But if you painted it, I think it would look a, a bit tatty and b it wouldn't be original. Like that, that hasn't been painted, even though it looks quite good. It's just, it's been preserved quite well. So the paint is, it does show its age. You can see if I just go a bit closer, um, but it still looks quite decent. Um, now this is a Triumph and that's a Rally, but they were built in the same factory in Nottingham back in 1958 and 1960. Um, it's just that basically companies like Triumph and BSA and them companies took the Rally, ba uh, rally bikes and put their badges on it, the big fibbers. Um, so basically they're both rallies. Um, both rally roadsters, but that's yeah. just marked as a Triumph. Yours says Triumph on the front, and mine says. Uh, Let's go to the uh, rally coat of arms. Nottingham, England. Triumph, and then that said, oh, that's nice and old. Um, rally. By a, what does it say? Nottingham, England. Bicycles. If I yeah. just move this here, I don't know if it will come across on camera. You might be able to see it then in person. Yes. Social distance my bike from you. Oh god, yes, I, f I forgot about the actual chain protector. That's interesting. See, you can see Rally, and I don't know if you'll see it, the all steel bicycle. The all steel bicycle. That, yeah. makes, that makes this bike just seem much stronger than it is. Much, much stronger. Yours just says Triumph. Yeah. It Gotta note the shadow, by the triumph, way. Does it? Yeah. It says Triumph. Yeah, it's, you got it looks triumph. old. Yeah, got a Triumph. Yeah. See down there. Got a Triumph. So there we are, really. Uh, it's just You'll this be is. You'll seeing this quite a wee bit more on the channel. Yeah, maybe maybe you can do a little project series. Oh god. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to swap a three liter V6 in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is sort of episode one in a way of vintage bikes. Um, oh god. So I don't know what they call like vintage bikes, That's Matthew's new bike or something like that. But yeah, and this is the start of something new, going out on the vintage bikes on just nice days really along the canal like you can see here. I don't really go on my bike often, but that was because whenever I went with Matt, I just can't keep up with him. So I've just sort of put off a bit. Um, but now yeah, it'll be better. I have, so fast. I have ridden that and it does feel vintage, I can tell you. Very um, vintage. Of course it will. But yeah, there we are. Have you got any last words? Subscribe, like, comment, follow us on social media. I'm Daniel Cars05 on Twitter and Instagram. You're complicated. You're, you're on Twitter, you're Matthew LR2. I'm Matthew LR2, and on Instagram, I'm Matthew uh, Labrouse. Yes, you've just joined Instagram, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got I'm following territory. a bunch of people. 
because I, I, I just flung like a bunch of car stuff and bike stuff. Yeah. So there we are with the sun in my eyes. Like and subscribe if you want to see more vintage content along with some other content, little car reviews from time to time, um, and mostly when bike content. You know, coronavirus is all over. Yes, and stay safe, by the way. Um, follow the government stuff, even though other people are. Stay aren't. alert, whatever that means. Stay alert, control the virus. I don't know. Stay alert, stay home with coronavirus. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll good see night. you soon. Good night. Yeah, quite literally, because it's what? Check the time. Nine? Mm -hmm. Uh, eight sixteen. We've been filming oh, for eighteen minutes, that. something like that. Thank you for watching. Oh, vintage travels, and vintage bikes. Matthew's over there. This is a little add-on for the end of the video. It's very, very nice. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. So pretty, lovely sunset. Matthew, I'm breaking the law and recording while cycling. But this is a private road, so it's all good. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Not your average Tuesday, is it? It's a bit better. No. There's Matthew cycling no-handed on his 1960s bicycle. Mm. Sorry, I'm just doing a kick up that. Yeah. It's Beetle bike, that is. This is my camper van. I have to call it Ringo. It's rear-wheel drive, rear-engined now, and it doesn't go into first. Yes. Just like to apologise as well for our terrible haircuts. Both of our mums have attempted. Yeah. Actually, mine's all right, so I'll give credit to my mum for that. Sure. <laughs> I'm getting my Yours haircut again. on the 9th of July, so it's going to look better than it does now. I don't know if you can hear that. That's vintage noise for you. This, that's the sound of the 50s. And also, we don't care about what time it is because back in the olden days, time went slower. Oh, we're all, we're all late. Oh, I promise we're not watching. I know. Oh, so nice. Anyway, this is the proper end of the video, I think. So, yeah. Danger overhead cables. Oh, they look proper dangerous. Overhead cables. Wow. They feel like gay pride or something. I don't oh, know I what know. they are. That's probably for like a pregnancy. Well, oh, that's electric, isn't it? It's no, electric it wires. They've got like blue ones and pink ones. Is that for like a boy and a girl or something? I really don't know. Gender reveal. It's not really the gender reveal uh, place, is it? There we go. Off he goes into the sunset, and there's me on my Triumph Roadster. Thank you for watching everybody. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.